On the night before Jesus would go to the cross and uh, begin to usher in the new creation, he spent the evening with his closest friends, with his mates, the disciples, and they shared a meal together. They broke bread and shared wine. And Jesus took the loaf, the common loaf that they would all eat from and said, after breaking it, this is my body, which is broken for you. And he poured the cup and said, this uh, is my blood, the blood of the new covenant that is poured out for the forgiveness of sins. The story about this new covenant that I grew up hearing is that, uh, is that it ushered in grace and that we used to be under law, which is a bad thing, but in the new covenant we're now under grace, which is a good thing. And so we didn't need to worry too much about what had come before that because that wasn't, that wasn't good. The trouble was when, um, when, when you read the, the, the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says this, do not think I came to do away with the law, uh, but I, I came to fulfill the law. And so somehow this, this new covenant in Jesus' blood is still connected to the old covenant. And that what Jesus has done is actually fulfill the law, has showed us what it means to fulfill the law. And so perhaps we can't just dismiss all that came before because we have a new covenant. But perhaps it's really important for us to know and understand the old covenant 